Felines are curious creatures, and sometimes that curiosity can come with a price. Cats and plastic, it's rather common. However, a feline's obsession with plastic can sometimes drift away into some rather unsafe and worrisome territory. More than just a one-off, some cats can become fixated with plastic to the point where just leaving a plastic bag on the floor can become a source of stress for a pet owner. From the minor to the major, with respect to obsession, in today's material we will talk about why some cats just can't seem to get enough of all things plastic. Interesting topic and I've got you covered. Stay tuned. For everything that we do understand about cats, if you've owned your pet long enough, you will quickly discover a host of things that really don't make a lot of sense. The feline obsession with plastic is often one of them. If you are curious as to why your cat just can't seem to leave well enough alone and seems to always be interested in plastic, the following reasons can help to shine some light on the matter and give you just a bit more clarity. Helping to make sense of something that just seems, well, at times to be rather strange. Let's start things off with scent. Not so much the smell of plastic, a plastic bag, for example, but where that plastic has been. Using the bag example, so many things are stored and carried in plastic bags. Shopping items come to mind, especially groceries. If you place a bag or two in your kitchen or on your kitchen floor, or really anywhere that allows your cat direct contact with the bag, it's not uncommon for felines to check things out. Smell it all and put their detective hat on and really explore. It's not uncommon for cats to rub against a plastic bag as a means to alter their scent, to leave their own personal touch behind as a way to claim it as their own property. To us, it's just an empty plastic grocery bag. To a cat, it's a bag filled with new and interesting scents and potentially a piece of property that deserves to be claimed. That leads us to our next reason for obsession, and that is texture and the sound the bag makes when it is manipulated. Here's a quick personal tie-in story. My Christmas tree each year, I have an artificial tree. I store it in a large canvas bag. Well, one of my cats, one in particular, he loves to jump on the bag. He loves how the canvas feels, how it can be manipulated, and the sound it gives off when he moves around. As for a plastic bag, it's really very much the same thing. Cats just love just about anything they can control, anything they can change and manipulate. The way a plastic bag feels, how a cat can change its shape, and that sound. That's really the perfect trio for curiosity, general interest, and possible obsession. Cats like to touch things that have unique textures. Touch with the body, the mouth, the paws, and claws. It doesn't take much to turn a full plastic bag into a ball of plastic. There's a lot going on there, and cats are big fans of those moving parts. And speaking of manipulation and moving parts, a cat can't have all of this going on without enjoying most every second of it. One of the reasons for obsession is play. The ability to play. Cats can do a lot with plastic, and that plastic bag does play right into the paws of a feline's basic instincts. A bag just sitting on the floor, well, it's just ideal for stalking, hunting, and capturing, and then manipulating. And plus, empty bags are light, which means they could start to move a bit. The fan blows the bag just a bit, the air conditioner moving the bag. Well, to a cat, this is party time. <laughs> Things just became all the more intriguing. What's that old saying, cats don't want the toy, they just want the box that it came in? Well, in this case, it's a plastic bag that your groceries came in. Another reason for the interest or obsession, and this one fits in perfectly with the playtime aspect, and that is overall entertainment, some level of mental and physical satisfaction. Cats that become obsessed with plastic, it's fair to suggest that at least on some level, they're not truly getting what they need when it comes to activity. They're not getting the stimulation they need. Perhaps they lack true cat toys. Perhaps they lack steady, positive attention. Cats that are mesmerized by plastic, especially plastic bags, there could be something missing in daily life, thus the obsession with the bag. Next on our list, and this is pretty much the backbone for that cryptic introduction to this video, 
sometimes it's just not cute and fun in games with it when it comes to uh, this topic as a whole. If your cat's obsession with plastic bags or really anything and everything plastic that is small and can be manipulated, if it takes a more serious turn, things can turn rather complicated in a great big hurry. Pika, and I've mentioned this behavior in the past, can leave you in need of proactive measures as an owner. Pika involves a feline having the desire to eat things that are not made for safe consumption. Non-food items. Cats with Pika could desire to tear up the plastic, again using the plastic bag example, and consume some of these smaller pieces. Pika at its very core can be the result of lack of proper diet and a lack of stimulation. Cats that truly have nothing better to do, to put it frankly, could get involved in this behavior where anything on the floor, plastic in this case, could morph into a snack, unfortunately. Of course, Pika can be very dangerous for the obvious reasons. Consumption of non-food items is a serious matter, and if you suspect that your cat is eating small bits of plastic, please take your cat to a professional as soon as possible. Not only for the obvious health check, but for ways to eliminate this compulsion moving forward. And before I close things out for this video, I unfortunately have a personal story regarding Pika or something on the verge of it, let's say. One of my cats, one cat specifically, he's got a bit of a problem and has had it for years. He's better at this issue, but he does have an issue. He just manages to find anything and everything on the floor. Stuff that I can't even see most of the time. He could find a whole steak on the floor. Two seconds earlier, he wasn't even there. He just has a knack for it. He manages to find every little crumb of anything. Now, while thankfully it seems to begin and end with food, he's a curious one, and he's a cat that I just have to keep my eye on pretty much all the time when he's just roaming about. His issue, it's really not a lack of attention, lack of interaction. He just loves to eat. So when he walks around the house, unfortunately, he's always got his nose to the ground. Before I turn things over to the wonderful audience and do my signature send-off like I do, I'll ask it now, do any of you have a cat that just seems to live with his or her nose to the ground, constantly sniffing things out, looking for anything and pretty much everything to taste? Now, while that isn't Pika in the true sense, it's certainly curiosity on about a, let's say, 9 out of 10 scale. Are you the owner of a cat who is always in search of something to taste, to eat, or even to chew? Please let me know in that comment section below. Let me know if you have a cat at least similar to the one I just described. Is your cat the cleanup crew? That's what I call my cat. He is the cleanup crew even when there's, at least in my view, not a whole lot to clean up. He always finds a way. Now to the audience of Senior Cat Wellness, officially, what are your general thoughts about this topic? Does your cat have a curiosity, perhaps a fixation with plastic that borders on obsession. Is it just one cat or do you have several cats that fit this subject matter, the subject of today's video? Any personal stories to share? Does your cat just love those grocery bags? Does your cat try to get inside of the bags and sleep in them? <laughs> I, know some of, I know some cats and some of mine from time to time, they just like to get inside and make a day of it. Once again, anything and everything Cats and plastic, that comment section. As always, it's all yours. And if you enjoyed this content, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd certainly love to have you as a member of the Senior Cat Wellness family. And until next time, thank you so very much for watching, and I will talk to you later.